You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. Hey, my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Mr. Marson, let's get it. Is that right? Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rush. You know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Go. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. much like no blackboarder, fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high-fluting big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. Yeah. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages Without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing ye ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Let's go. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Almost there, Mr. Marshall. Just over this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs>
come for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna. Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Hello to you. Howdy. in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Gee up! Come on. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Here's the corral. 
This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Yeah. Yeah! That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Whoa there. Let's go. No complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Well, are we going inside? Don't waste those bullets!